ever feel like you're not good enough, smart enough, or valuable enough? Do the words you say to yourself or hear from others make you question your worth and purpose? I understand. From the time I was a little girl, I remember struggling with self-doubt. Insecurity kept me from riding the carousel at an amusement park because I doubted my daddy would wait for me. I was afraid to water ski in our family's boat because I doubted my family would come back to get me once I dropped the rope. In school, I passed up great opportunities if they came with the risk of failure. As a young bride, I doubted my husband's faithfulness, although he gave me no reason to. And once I had kids, I sometimes doubted that I could be a good mom. Hi, I'm Renee Swope, author of A Confident Heart. Sometimes as a grown woman in ministry, I can still find myself standing in the shadows of self-doubt. One afternoon, I was feeling uncertain about a large women's event where I'd be speaking. As I stood in front of my bathroom mirror, putting on makeup, I begged God to take away my doubt and zap me with confidence. Instead, he taught me a powerful lesson. As I turned around to get something, I noticed a huge nine-foot shadow on the wall. I couldn't believe how much bigger it was than my five-foot, two-inch frame. The distorted image made me look bigger than I was. All of a sudden, it dawned on me. Just like the shadow on my wall, my insecurity was distorting my thoughts and overpowering my emotions with uncertainty. For the past 16 years, I've been writing and speaking into the lives of women through Proverbs 31 Ministries. When I surveyed over 1,200 women for my book, I discovered that our most common self-doubts are thoughts like, I'm not good enough, I don't have anything special to offer, I'm always disappointing someone, and I'll never change. These defeating thoughts block God's truth that promises to transform our lives as we depend on Him for our security and confidence. That day as I stood in my bathroom, I sensed God whisper to my heart, Renee, you can only see the shadow because you've turned away from the light. Turn back towards the light. As I turned back towards the light above the mirror, I no longer stood in the shadow. In a confident heart, that's what we're going to do. We'll learn how to move out of the shadows of our doubts and live in the light of God's truth. In each chapter, I'll help you identify your most common doubts, figure out what causes them, and show you how to replace a lack of self-confidence with lasting God confidence. Through biblical and real life examples, I'll show you how to trust the certainty of God's promises in the uncertainty of your circumstances and emotions. I'll also help you discover and live confidently in your God-given purpose, passion, and personality. And I'll help you break free from people-pleasing and performance-based living. Join me in finding a confident heart as we learn how to stop doubting ourselves and start living in the security of God's promises.